and welcome in the Watches TV. You may have heard once that Big is beautiful. I have an example here. This is the Giga Tourbillon from Frank Miller. This watch has been launched in 2011 and actually it is still the biggest tourbillon on the market. The cage of this tourbillon has a diameter of 2 cm, which makes it a very deep, very big machine. You know that the tourbillon is the complication of the refined mechanism because it is not really a complication that is the most spectacular one. I think it couldn't be more real and more true than uh, in this version because um, it is in addition a skeletonized movement, an open work movement and the tourbillon takes about the half of the volume of the movement. To run this tourbillon you need a lot of energy and that's why this watch has four barrels connected in series, four actually also big barrels because each of them is uh, 16 millimeters of diameter. So it is a massive watch, it is a big watch and it has only one purpose just to show in big the motion of the tourbillon and to be frank they had to develop their own hairspring which is the little spring that is just beating in the middle of the tourbillon to be able to run this tourbillon because of constraints in terms of physics and resistance and power are so hard that no hairspring existed on the market for this watch. In addition to that the watch has been mounted with uh, the bridge on the top and the platine on the back. Usually it's the contrary. They make that also to make the movement even more visible, even more spectacular. Uh, you can notice that it is an old curvy case, uh, all uh, with uh, very soft lines, no uh, straight angle except for the back. It also looks like a little person, a little face. This watch is really an off-limits watch. Uh, which has a power reserve of 10 days. Watchmaking is extraordinary because such watches are, are possible to make and uh, they express also the personality of the brand and uh, the ability to invent new mechanisms and to push a little bit the boundaries of uh, the watchmaking art. Mm -hmm.